Hey guys, Typical Dave here. This is the Human Resource Machine, Year 28, and I'll be showing you how to get both the size and the speed challenges completed. In this one, the challenges are use 34 or fewer commands and complete in 78 or fewer steps. It is not possible to do both in one go in this level, so what I'll do is the size challenge first, and then I'll be doing the speed challenge. When you first come into the world, you will see that it already has these commands in the inbox. Uh, we're just going to leave them there because that's exactly what we need to start. Uh, for each three things in the inbox, we're going to output them from smallest to larger. So in this case, 7, 4, and 1, we're going to output 1, 4, 7. The next three, 3, 6, 7, we'll be outputting 3, 6, 7, just in that order. So once we've copied them all to the board, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the first number and we're going to subtract the second number from it. We're going to put an if negative command in. So don't worry about these numbers. 0 minus 1 would give us negative 1. Which means if it's a negative, this number is bigger. So we're going to jump because it's already in the right way around. Which means if it gives us a positive number, it means it must have been 1 minus 0. Which means this number was the bigger number. So we need to switch them around. The way we're going to do that is we're going to grab this first number here. And we're going to write it down below where we want it. Then we're going to grab this number here and we're going to move it across. So copy it and paste it here. And now we've moved that across, we can grab the first number from here and we're going to push it up like so. Now we've done that, we, in this case 0 and 1 it would be right, it would have jumped, but if it was 1 and 0 it's now just switched it to 0 and 1. We're now going to do the exact same thing to positions 1 and 2. So we're going to copy 1 and we're going to subtract 2 and put a jump if negative command in. So 1 minus 2 would be negative 1. So if negative, we know it would have been the right way around. However, if it was 2 take 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. That's a positive number, so we know we would have had to have switched them. So, once again, we're going to grab the first number here and we're going to write it down below where we want it. We are then going to grab the one that's in the wrong spot and we're going to move it across to the left to the correct spot. And then we're going to grab the one that we move below and paste it up into the correct spot. Once we've done that, we need to jump all the way back up to the start of this copy from command. Because even though now we know this is the right way around, this here could have been messed up because the one that we bumped back could still be smaller than this number here. So we're going to run through the whole sequence again. Now, after we've done the second sequence, if it was a negative number and it meant it was the right way around, it means the whole string could be the right way around. So we're going to copy the first number and we're going to outbox it. We're going to copy from the second number and we're going to outbox it and we're going to copy from the third number which then we're going to outbox. Once we've done all that we know the entire code is good. Now there's one last step that we're going to have to do. Where it says jump if negative we've also got to put a jump if zero command in. So below the negative we're going to jump to the exact same spot and this one as well if negative we need to jump to the exact same spot. The reason for this is we're checking for negatives and if it's a negative we'll continue but if it's a positive we're going to switch. It counts as zero as a positive in this game. Uh, what that means is if we had seven like for example the seven here if both these numbers here were a seven it's going to think it's a positive number so it's going to think this number is larger than this number and it's going to switch it. Then it's going to check and it's going to be two sevens. It's going to think that this one's a larger number than this one and it's going to switch it. And that will go forever. That's why we need to put this check in that if both the numbers are the same, it's going to output a zero and it's not going to waste its time switching and just jump. Now we've done that, the whole code should be good to go. So we're going to paste the seven down, we're going to chuck a four down, and then we're going to chuck this one down. We're going to compare the seven and four, we're going to see the seven's bigger. So we're going to move the 7 down, bounce the 4 across, and then bring the 7 up. We are now going to compare the 7 and 1. We're going to see the 7 is bigger. So we're going to put the 7 down, bring the 1 across, push the 7 up. 
Now we're going to go back here, and you can see what I mean. The one is bigger than the four. Uh, four is bigger than one, so we still need to switch this around again. Like so. And now we're going to check this, and that's right. So we know everything was right in that run, so we can spit it out. So if I just speed it up, we're good to go. This one's a lot easier because it's all in the right already. So three and six, six and seven. So it's just going to chuck it straight across without doing any swapping. Negative two, two and eight. It's all in order. So it's just going to throw the results straight across. And then six, negative four and five. That needs to be switched like so. Now these need switching. So it doesn't know that the first two are correct. So it's going to have to do the check again. It's good to go. Double check this again. And everything's right. So we're going to chuck the negative 4 and the 6 across. We're now completely finished. So for the size challenge, you can see we did 34 out of 34. So we passed that part. As for the speed, it took 134 steps out of 78. So we well and truly failed that. What you're going to do now is just click back. We're going to clear this. So we're going to scroll to the bottom. Hit clear. Yes. Now, to make things easier, we're going to label these boxes. One, two, and three. We are now going to copy the numbers in reverse order. So, inbox, and we're going to copy to three. We're going to do the inbox. We're going to copy to two. I'm going to go to the inbox, and we're going to copy to one. Now we've done that, we should be holding the one in our hands. So, we're going to subtract it from two so um, one and then minus two it give us a negative so we need to put this if negative jump in so one minus two would be negative one if it's negative we know the two is larger so we're going to put a little notice in here so we know the two is bigger than one but we don't know what the three is which means if it was a positive we know the one was bigger than the two but we don't know what the three is so that's what we're going to try and determine now we are going to copy from the two and what we're going to do is subtract three so two minus three we're going to put the little negative jump in so two minus three is negative one so if it's a negative we know that the 1 is a big number, the 2 we don't know, it's definitely the smallest number, and the 3 is a big number, and we're going to have to compare the 1 and the 3. However, in this case here, comparing these, we already know the 1 is a huge number, and we're just comparing these, and because the 3 was the smaller of the 1 and 2, we know the 1 must be the biggest, the 2 is the medium sized number, and 3 is the smallest sized number. Now we've got that established in this box, we can already spit out our first result. So we're going to grab the 3, we're going to outbox it, we're going to grab the 2, which then we're going to outbox, and we're going to grab the 1, which then we're going to outbox. And once we've done that, you want to jump all the way back to the start and we're going to start again. Now, in the scenario, we don't know whether the 1 or the 3 is bigger, but we definitely know the 2 is the smallest. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the 1 and we're going to subtract 3. So, and then put a jump if negative command in, like so. Now, 1 minus 3 would be negative 2. So, in that case, we would know that the 3 is bigger than the 1, but we already know the 1 is bigger than the 2. Now, if it was the other way around, we would know the 1 was bigger than the 3, and we already know they're both bigger than the 2. So, I'll just make that look a bit bigger, like so. So, now we have all our combinations here. So, we are going to copy from the smaller one, which is the little 2, we're going to outbox it. We are going to copy from the 3, which is the medium sized number, and we're going to outbox it. And then we are going to copy from the 1, which we are going to outbox. Once we've done that, we want to jump all the way back up to the start.
In this scenario here, we know the three is the biggest, one's medium, two is the smallest. So, copy from two, outbox it, copy from one, outbox it, and then copy from three, outbox it. We're then going to jump all the way up to the start. Now, right at the start where we did this check to see if one or two is bigger, we've done all the scenarios regarding one. We now need to go through and do the scenarios regarding if the two was bigger. So, uh, we need to now copy from one and we're going to subtract it from three. And going to put an if negative command in. So, one minus three would give us a negative, so we'd know the 3 was bigger. So in this case, we know the 3 is a big number, the 2 is a big number, and 1 must definitely be the smallest number. However, if it was the other way around, so into here, um, so we're comparing the 1 and the 3. If the 3 is smaller than the 1, we already know the 1 is smaller than the 2, so we have an outcome. So 3 is the smallest, 1 is the medium, 2 is there. So we're going to copy from 3, which then we're going to output. We're going to copy from 1, which then we're going to output. And we're going to copy from 2, which then we're going to output. Once we've done that, we can go jump and all the way back up to the top. Like so. And the last possible thing we need to work out in this sequence is which one's bigger, the 2 or the 3. We do this by copying the 2 and we're going to subtract it from the 3. No matter what, we know the 1 is smaller. So 2 minus 3 would give us negative 1. So if it was negative, we know the 3 is biggest. So in that scenario, it would be 3 medium size 2 and the 1 must be the smallest if it was the, which um, if it was a positive number it would make it the opposite way around so the largest 2 medium size 3 and an itty bitty 1 and that's our final two solutions so copy from 1 output copy from 3 output copy from 2 output and then we're going to jump back to the start like so almost there the code is really really long in this one and back to the bottom and this last one is easy it's just one two three so copy from one output copy from two output and then copy from three and we're going to output it once we've done that we're going to jump all the way back to the top now, a way to quickly check that we're definitely right is when we get to the top, we have one, two, three, four, five, six jumps. So six possible answers that we're going to output. Um, there is only six possible answers. So it could be one, two, three, one, three, two. Two, one, three, two, three, one, or three, one, two, and then three, two, one. So there's only six ways to rearrange the numbers, and that's the six possible outcomes we've got here. Right, we're going to click play now. So you're going to see that it's going to bring the seven, the four, and the one out. I'm going to speed this up a bit because it takes quite some time. And it's just going to do all the checks, and you can see on the side here all the checks that it's done. So at this stage, what I'll do is I'll actually just slow it down so you can actually see. So it's just comparing the 7 and the 6, as it's not a negative, we know the 1 is larger than the 2. Now it's going to check the 6 against the 3, it's got another positive number. So now we've determined it must be 3 is the smallest, 2 and 1. So that's one it's going to output, so we'll just skip through this a bit. In that exact order. Now we're going to bring the negative 2, we're going to grab the 2, and we're going to grab the 8. It's going to deduct the 8 and the 2. So by doing that, it's a positive number. So we've determined the first number is larger than the second number. We're now going to compare these. 
and we've got another positive number. So once again, it's determined that the answer is the smallest one is 3, then 2, and the largest is 1. So if I display, you're going to see it's chucked the 3, it's going to chuck the 2, and then it's going to chuck the 1. It's now going to do these ones as well. So let's grab the 6, the 4, and the 5. It's going to compare these. It's got a positive number, so it's determined that 1 is larger than 2. It's now going to compare these, and we've got a negative number. So it's going to jump forward because it knows 1 and 3 are very large numbers, but it's already worked out 2 must be the smallest. I'm now going to compare the 5 and the 6, and I've got a negative. And because I've got a negative, it's determined that the 5 must have been smaller than 3, and it already knows that 2 is the smallest. So it's determined the answer is 2, 1, 3. So if I click play, it's grabbed the 2, it's grabbed the 1, and it's grabbed the 3. We're back at the start, which means it's just going to output, uh, output everything. So as you can see, we definitely failed the size challenge, but when it comes to the speed challenge, we've done it in exactly 78 out of 78. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I've tried to describe it as well as I can and put some notes in to try and make it a bit visual for you. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Goodbye.